Selena has been traveling for 30 hours from her front door to my front door. She's finally here! I'm so excited. Selena is going to demonstrate how to create a gel nail using her sandwich technique. We're gonna have fun at the nail table today. Let's get started. So this is something we're doing very different today. Someone's gonna work on my nails. Not just someone, Selena! <laughs> Selena's gonna do my nails. Selena has been creating this technique for quite some time. How long have you been doing this? Well, it started out 13 years ago, but then it kind of got into this technique about maybe five years ago, oh, okay. I would say. Yeah. Okay. Now, some people are calling it the sandwich technique. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna learn why. That sounds really weird. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it piqued my interest. Some of you have asked me to do it, and I looked into it and found out you're at the bottom of that. <laughs> so she's gonna do it, and we're gonna kind of talk about it and walk through, and then I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. She's gonna walk me through. She's mm -hmm. gonna teach me. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we've prepped the nail, we've filed it, and now she's gonna product prep it. So this is what we're gonna use, Light Elegance Worms. First thing you want to do is to measure out uh, the nail. And then I'm going to do a diagonal cut right here where you had your sidewall. So right over here. And then same thing on the other side. Now, because this one is obviously too flat for your <laughs> finger, right? you just need to cut it a little bit. So I'm just going to do go up here. And then you can kind of measure out to that middle right. uh, line and then other side. And this takes a little bit of skill too because you're yeah. actually almost like tracing it, like a template mm -hmm. to yeah, stick yeah, in exactly. there. So you're sort of membering exactly. the shape of the end of my finger. Yeah. I mean, yep. Sticky thing. Yep. <laughs> That's not going to be very effective to throw, is it? <laughs> <laughs> stick into my hand. We'll just ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't happen. You, is it still there? It's still there. <laughs> okay. So then what you want to do is to roll up the form like that. So it's going to be easier to work with. Mm -hmm. Some people do like to work with the tap. That's still, you know, the little. Oh, yeah, the little yeah. tab. Yeah. Yeah. Like that and yeah. put it underneath. I don't. I never do that. I don't I feel like I need it, especially yeah. with these forms, because I like uh, the thickness of them already. So yeah. I don't have to add gotcha. more. So now we're just going to place that right underneath here. Just attach that to the finger. Okay. And then look at it from this side. Make sure that you have a nice C curve. And open up those little flaps right, right. there. Oh, wow. And making sure that the form is really, you know, tucked in underneath here. And since we're doing um, a pointy nail, we want to make it pointy, of course. So. You have a really narrow nail. <laughs> yeah, which is great on camera and it looks <laughs> yep. good. It's fun to do, but a yep. pain in the butt to form. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you just want to double check and turn your hand around okay. and just making sure that the form doesn't go too much yeah. left or right. Got you. And then you are pretty much ready to go. Okay. Feels good. Good. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to move on to the next product. Okay. So we're going to use this natural fiber. This product does contain fiberglass pieces. Oh, okay. So you can make really, really long and durable nails with okay. it, which I love. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so it's really, it really nice. There. Yeah. Really so pretty. what you want to do first is actually, because this is a new container, sometimes you want to kind of dig in here and make sure that the fiberglass pieces are not like laying down oh, here okay. at the bottom. But I do, okay. I think that it looks pretty good. I'm just yeah. going to swirl around a little bit since, you know, we have particles like mm -hmm. heavy particles in here of course it's gonna flow settle down. a little yeah exactly but what I think, a beautiful color i know it's super nice and you can see here that it looks like it's filled with sugar can you see yeah, that yeah right that's the can little fiberglass yeah. pieces so that's oh, very interesting. really cool and uh, yeah so that is okay. what we're gonna use gonna grab this natural fiber and when I do pointy nails I tend to start at the tip right here okay. and then do a little outline and connect it down to the sidewall right here and I like to do them a little bit like of a natural curve so I don't do them you know a stiletto type straight out right I for me personally I like it when it's a little bit more 
natural like an arch yeah yeah i I do too i agree with you yeah i mean it's it's not a natural look no none of this is natural (laughs) it's a little bit more natural yeah Mm -hmm. so then i'm just gonna go in and fill that middle space out like that and making sure that i'm also connected to the natural nail and then i just fade it out down to the natural nail like that so i don't want to go all the way down because then it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker and then you're going to get a thick line around there so here i'm just making sure that i don't have any gaps so for me and Mm -hmm. most nail technicians our brush is our number one tool it's like the Mm -hmm. most personal item that we use that we want to be perfect all the time is this one of those brushes for you oh yeah definitely this is the bling brush oval number four and this is what i use every single day right for all my sculpting and everything yeah definitely i i love this one it's perfect so now we're gonna go ahead and cure that and since light elegance is a little bit stronger you want to flash cure it a little bit oh okay yeah just a flash so cure? yeah now oh, come on now yep definitely <laughs> i'm not paying attention yeah okay and put it back in okay. so uh because with light elegance we need a strong curing okay so we can take it out again and that's why we have a strong lamp oh, okay uh, and then of course you're gonna get a little bit more of a heat spike. Yeah. How's your finger right now? Is it Feels cool? Yeah? yeah. Okay. So we'll just gonna cure it for a little yeah. bit longer. And if you want to pinch the nail, you can oh, do okay. that about now. So if you take it out, um, I don't have a pincher now, but I do have my nails. So you can actually just go in and slightly pinch it like that. Right. Uh, so you can actually pinch mm-hmm. gel. So most people think that no, you can't I do know. it with gel, but yeah, you can absolutely do that. And just so you know, the pressure on that was really gentle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's good because, you know, this fiber gel, it is very strong, but it's also very flexible. So Mm -hmm, that's why you can pinch Mm -hmm, it. Some gels you can't pinch because Mm -hmm. they're too hard. Gotcha. But this one is perfect Mm, for that. That's cool. You can take it out if you want to. Yeah, that's really natural. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So now we're just going to remove the form right here. So do you just pinch it and then pull it off and there you have the nail. So this is why you really need to be careful and really pull that gel up to the natural nail. Right, so it doesn't fall off exactly, on the form. Exactly, because we didn't put gel over the entire That's nail. That's right. And that is what we're going to do now. Yeah. So when you remove the form, if part of the nail is not attached to the nail plate, it'll all just come off. Oh, yeah. It's going to it's gonna sit here and you're going <laughs> to cry. <laughs> here, I'll take your garbage. Yep. Awesome. That's how we do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So okay. now we're going to dig into this. Okay. Yeah. Now, these are mm-hmm. Selena's signature series that she's put out these special little kits with uh, great designs inside them and everything you need in one kit. So let's rip into it. There's a few things yep. in here she wants. but Yep. So this one is your... That's the edgy burlesque. Okay. You get all the products to go with that specific design. Yep. And then you have a voucher in there. So okay. it's like a code. So you go to Light Elegance website and there you will get access to a video with the full tutorial. And we're talking like detailed tutorial. Very detailed. Extremely detailed. And, and this, then the code will be on here. So ex- we'll just put that there. Exactly. <laughs> and then you will have that video for 30 days mm-hmm. and you can do it as many times as you right. want. Right. You have everything you need in here. That's great. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll let you go through with what you need. Yep. Okay, you might not want to throw this on the floor. No, I, the gel ones I actually just put in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> you should have stick it to something. <laughs> it would just <laughs> smack. It would throw back and sticks on cameraman's forehead. Or like the wall. <laughs> or the wall. <laughs> okay. If this were a natural nail, like uh, if you didn't have any acrylics or, on, or anything, uh, this layer also works as like your safety layer. So when you go back and do your ref- refill, you don't pass this layer when you are filing down the nail. So uh, this layer is like multifunctional. Okay. Yep. So just a thin layer over the entire nail. And does this self-level a tiny bit? It is super self-leveling. Okay. This is one of the most runny oh, okay. gels that we have. So once you get it where you yeah. want it, you need to get it into the light ASAP pretty Absolutely, much? yeah. Okay. I like to work with runny gels because yeah. that's what I was trained okay. in. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's, that's why I know. love the one stuff. Got yeah. you. So now we're gonna cure that for uh, 30 seconds. 
every base gel, every color gel, every gl uh, glitter gel from Light Elegance cures for 30 seconds. Okay. And then the tops and the bottoms are curing for about 60 seconds. Gotcha. So this layer that she's built on is essentially the first layer before we get into the color layer. But she needs to sculpt it a little bit and get it to where we need it to be before we put the second layer on, which is the color layer. Now we're just going to cleanse that. like so and we're gonna take a file and what i do is that i always start with my general shape like this and making sure that it's not tilted it's not crooked and also going underneath the sides right here because you want to have the nail coming straight out from your natural nails making sure that it's all nice and even so just to clarify, this layer that she's making is not a nail layer that would survive out in the world doing mm -hmm. your things on its own. Yes. This is far, far too thin. It is basically a very, very thin extension of the natural nail before we put the color layer on top. I just wanted to clarify that because it looks like almost like you could just go with this, mm -hmm. but it's way, way, way too thin. Absolutely. I would say like if you were a painter, this is your paper to yeah, work on. This is the canvas that yeah. we're starting with. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go around the sides right here. And this is the most important thing okay. when you're working this with the, the sandwich. This is the biggest tip with the sandwich. Oh, definitely. Because people are always saying, I file away the I can color, see that blah, happening. blah, blah. Yep. So you want to make sure that, especially around here, you yeah. want to make it thin. and then Because that's all the thinnest around. point on the side. Yeah. Exactly. So just make sure to keep focus on the sides right here and make them thin and nice. And then they are ready for color. Now we're just going to buff the entire surface to make sure that we have a nice surface to work on. And obviously we want to uh, match up everything so we can put gel on top of here. So the now we're getting into the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this oh, is... Oops. Oops. I that piece of paper stuck to my head. <laughs> so we have picked this beautiful color theme because I thought it was in honor of this amazing hair <laughs> that she has. Look at that hair. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So we sort of uh, color coordinated some of our colors. Yeah. So I did the rest of the hands we mm -hmm. did with this color yeah. and a glitter. You want me to do that one or that one? Um, I like this one. Okay, let's yeah. go with that one then. So just before you begin, Selena, I just want to note how super thin this is. And that is important because when it finally gets to be the thickness that we want it to be for strength, it's going to have all the elements inside of it. So we've really broken it down. So that's quite thin. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm excited. You, are you excited? I am. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to grab the product right here. I'm going to start a little bit further back from the cuticles and then push it into the cuticles like that. What I do is that I create a tiny little wall yeah. in front of my brush and then I leave it because what it does, it kind of it kind of seeps into the nail a little bit. Right. So it looks like I'm applying a lot, but I'm going to come back and then I'm going to kind of pull that back over the entire nail. And this is how I get that perfect line okay. around the cuticle. So you can see how thick I'm, I'm actually yes. applying that. And then I'm focusing on the sides right here. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to start pulling So you're back. almost like wrapping it around exactly. the edge of the nail. Yeah. So she's not going underneath, but she's making sure that it's mm -hmm. really gathered on the side. And I've noticed even with people putting gel polish application, the sides and the cuticles are often missed, but you've really been able to mm -hmm. capture yeah. that. It's really important. So I would say that this is my best tip when it comes to... Mm. Uh, applying gel? Exactly. And applying mm -hmm. gel very like... Uh, what do you say, like perfect just around the cuticles. Gotcha. And this layer does not have to, ooh, there's some glitter. <laughs> this That was my belt. <laughs> this layer doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be covering. Oh, okay. So don't worry about that. Right. Uh, we're gonna so it's like that. nail polish almost. Your first layer is yeah. a base color and the second mm -hmm. layer will catch the yeah. true color of it. Exactly. Okay. So, because you don't want to make this too thick. Yeah. So you can go and do that. Yes. <laughs> How long? Uh, Thirty seconds. So now is the part where we're gonna add the ham. <laughs> if you were talking about a sandwich, okay, the so ham part. 
<laughs> was this the lettuce? That was the bun. It's the bun. Yeah. Oh, I thought no, the first actually, layer yeah. would be. Yeah, actually, yeah, the first thing would be the bun, like the extension yeah. and the one step. And that would, okay, this is the lettuce. This is the lettuce. And now we're going in with the ham. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're gonna go in with one step again. You can use any clear gel. I, as I said, I am a sucker for runny gels because yeah, okay. I, I love working with that because I like to work fast. But if you are new to gel, you can definitely go in with a builder or something a little yeah. bit thicker so you don't panic. I think also too, as an acrylic artist, I don't tend to like the runny stuff because mm -hmm. it's getting away on me and I'm not used to that with acrylic. Acrylic exactly. is where we put it, it stays there. So that's interesting that you say that. I think that's a yeah. gel. Absolutely. Gel answer. So this is how I do my, what I call like the speed building. And I try to make this as perfect as I can okay. before filing because it will save me time and money. Okay. So first thing I'm doing is that I'm applying a thin layer over the entire nail. And this is kind of what I call the slip layer. So this is going to tell me or tell the nail where I want the gel to go. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to take a huge blob and place it where I want my apex to be. Oh, okay. And I'm going to do the European style. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be at the back third, uh, okay. back fourth right. part of the nail. Some want to place it like in the middle, yeah. like mostly like in the States. Yeah. But I'm going to place it back here and then I'm just going to slightly push it towards the cuticles. I'm not going to touch it. And now I need to tilt the nail. Oh. And now I'm just leading the way. I'm not pushing into the gel because if you push it, you're gonna get bubbles. Right. And I'm only focusing in the middle, like the middle part of the nail. So I'm not even going all the way out. And then all leading it all the way down. And this is a long nail, so we probably need to add a little bit more gel. And so you're working with the gravity is working with exactly. you. Exactly. I'm just leading it. I'm not pushing mm -hmm. into it at all. Sorry, I need to put your yeah, hand upside okay. down. Yep. <laughs> so ah. hopefully you will see that. But okay? no, exactly. That's perfect. So what happens now is that it's going to start pulling away from the cuticles. Yeah. So if you right. are panicking with yeah. gel, you can always uh -huh. put the hand upside down. Okay. And now we're going to turn it back around. And now we have all the gel centered right it in the middle. looks perfect. Yeah. So if you want to move it a little bit, right. you can just use your tip of the brush. Wow. Don't dig into it. Just use the tip. And now we're just going to... Sure that I think one more time upside down okay. to make sure that we have nice sidelines and you want to take a look at it from different angles. And if you want to, you can move it around upside here. So now we're just going to cure it and we're going to do it for a couple of seconds. And now you're going to take it out, pull it upside down again. Ah, so, so now it's still moving a bit. Exactly. Because when we put it in, it's going to start set and get, like flatten out a little bit. Okay. So we're pulling it back. Mm. And one more time. And also, I'm preventing the heat spike. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so true. we're go doing two things at once. Do it again? Yes. So once I can again, feel it getting a tiny bit hot. Exactly. Mm. So that's why you want mm -hmm. to stop out. it a little bit. Okay. So how does it feel now? Is it cool? It's calming down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do it one more time. I usually say like three or four times in okay. and out. Oh, okay. And then you're And go ready upside down go. when you come back out again. Exactly. And I also tell my clients to keep your fingers straight out yeah. because what happens if she's going like that? Yeah, then you're, you're yeah. it's a mess. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Yeah. So if you can, you can leave it in. Pretty much what I'm doing is that I'm creating like a little back bone in the middle yeah. and then I'm kind of hiding that within the structure yeah. so it's going to be very durable yeah. and thick but it's yeah. going to look thin yeah all right so taking my file and starting with the shape right here and then just as before going underneath pushing back the skin I've like forgotten this. how nice it is to have someone work on your nails oh really it's yeah, like I could fall asleep uh, just relax <laughs> That doesn't happen ever. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to go around the cuticles. And this part is where people freak out because then they start filing off the gel or right. the colors. So, but if you did a thin layer of clear underneath, 
you it shouldn't be a problem right however if you do file through the color don't panic because the second layer is actually gonna cover that up pretty nicely so but just be careful around the cuticles and around the sides because that's where we have the least amount of gel leave that to me i'll file right through the color <laughs> <laughs> So now when we have a nice transition going from your natural nail over to the gel. So now we're going to start filing from the tip up to where we want the apex to be. And we're going to do it in this angle. And this is how you get that perfect looking right. nail. Yeah, I call it the dolphin nose. I'm sure you've heard me mention that several times. It's coming, if I look down the nail like that, it's coming toward me like that. That's her mm, technique. And how the dolphin to nose. Yeah. Mm, I like that. Okay, so just making sure I have a nice shape going all the way up and making sure that you roll the finger as you go. So we're done filing. Just okay. gonna buff that and make sure that we have a smooth surface to work on. So we're just gonna clean that up and make sure that every time you clean up the nail, go really into the cuticles and drag that dust off. That's how you also get those perfect color lines on the cuticles. Get everything off. So I just want to note again, if I turn it sideways, how you can see the precision of this nail. So now we're going to do the last bun. <laughs> The last part of the sandwich yeah. is the bun. <laughs> we're going to top it with the bun. Yep. So this is the being the last part is the color coat. So we're still ending with the color, but we've got first color way down in the middle of that sandwich. Yep. Beautiful. So this is uh, a really great technique also to get even closer to the cuticles because now we have a dry filed and fluffed surface to paint on. So the gel is not going to pull back on me too much. So now I can get super close and neat around the cuticles. Same thing. Can you see how I'm building up that yeah. little wall? You do the wall of the second yep. coat as well. Absolutely. Coat. So just build up that little wall and keep your focus around the cuticles. Make sure you get really close without touching the cuticles. Uh, really making sure you cap the edges. And then I'm just going to fill out the rest of the nail. And at the same time, pulling back that right. little wall. So now the gel is going to stay where I placed it and not going to follow me or follow the brush all the way down here. And I can keep this very thin and that base layer is going to make sure that I get an opaque look with this. And now can you hear that? Oh, that's gorgeous. And how long would you nuke it for? Uh, 30 seconds. You don't like that word, nuke? <laughs> so I don't know how I started that. Nuke. You know what? The microwave. Whenever we use oh, the microwave really? in the house, we would say, oh, you can nuke it for two <laughs> seconds. So that I just sort of transferred it to this, but it was just a mistake, really. So it's not a Canadian thing? No. It's a, it's just a dumb thing. It's a Susie thing. <laughs> just okay. <a> thing. <laughs> it's just a silly thing. Okay. So now we're going to go in with Super Shiny. This is my favorite top gloss to right. use. We all have our favorites. Oh, don't yeah. We? I can't wait to try it. Well, the great thing about this is that it's so hard. Well, it's it's flexible, but the surface um, doesn't pick up any um, like pigments or anything. So if you have a client who is, for example, a hairdresser, right. you won't get stains any staining on your from nail. her hairdressing. Yeah. What I like to do is kind of really work that into the nail because if you don't, you could end up with like dry spots when you come out okay. of the lamp. So you just really want to work that into the nail so you can get it very thin mm -hmm. without getting any dry spots. And also, of course, go really go around and cap those edges. And that's especially important if you're working on a natural nail. Yeah, right. But now we have an extension, so it's not that crucial, but you know. You want to do it okay so now we're going to cure that for 60 seconds or nuke it sorry nuke we're going to nuke it 
Okay, so now we've dug into the second kit. She's got an oil in there and an oil trick she's going to show us. Mm -hmm. So we're first of all, we need to cleanse the nail like that. And now I'm just going to take my file and very gently go around the sides because as soon as you put a top over, it's going to mess up your sides a little bit. And this is just me being perfectionist, but gotcha. I do think that it helps a lot. Yeah. So I'm not digging into the sides. I'm just perfecting that super shiny layer. Mm -hmm. It's a super soft buff. Yeah, exactly. I'm just barely like yeah. touching. Just even that out. Yeah. And a super fine file as mm -hmm. well. Okay, so what I do now is that I place a little bit of a drop right there in the middle. This is a funny thing. So now I'm just going to start rubbing that rubbing into the nail and the skin. When you have different laws in different countries. Okay, so, yeah. for example, this is actually a trick I learned from the Belgium uh, distributor. You're not actually allowed in Belgium yeah, to, to touch put the it. Yeah, you're right. The, so this is yeah. the cleanest part of the nail. So then you just bring you just it out. It. Yeah, you just bring it out to the cuticles, and then okay. you're you're ready. Great. But tip. I do need to rub it into the nail, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take a clean wipe, and okay, let's see if cameraman can get this sound on camera. Okay. 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 So that's what you're looking for. Sounds like a duck. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to squeak it. Right. And ta-da. That is And then gorgeous. you get it even shinier for your pictures. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is going to wear off. But by that time, the super shiny has gotten to that shine because it mm -hmm. takes a couple of minutes for the super shiny to actually get super shiny. So we need to kind of rest for a little bit. Right. But for pictures, you can use this to yeah. get it even shinier. Look at that. Now look, I just have to note, look at the side of that. The precision in your sandwich. <laughs> My is precision just sandwich. Stunning. <laughs> it looks awesome, your precision sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Now it's your turn. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, okay, let's let's do yep. this. So we've reset the table. Everything's on my side now, and Selena's going to watch me fumble through this. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. You're the teacher, so make yes. me good. <laughs> so it's my fault if yeah. you fail. Totally your fault. Okay. Good this know. is tack. This is our first step. I'm just going to go until she stops me from doing something wrong. Yes. And so you far, kind so of good. like massage this stuff in. Yeah. You exactly. don't just lay it down. You got to massage it in a little. Perfect. And I'm going to nuke it for how long? You can flash it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do want to say, I am not being paid to present these products in any way. They were all sent up here for us to use them for this video purpose, but they did not pay me to do this video whatsoever. I'm doing this because it's so much fun! Yay. That's the only thing that motivates me, really. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the form, and now I'm going to try to cut the form. going to be placing it in here and so I'm sort of measuring and looking at the sides of where I need to cut it. My little bat ears are going to be about here yep. which is just a, just at that line that goes mm -hmm. this way. So there and this side is going to be just at this black line here out this way. Yep. Okay so I'm going to cut this one in first mm -hmm. but it's not much. And I'm going to cut this line out this way. And Yeah, you kind of want to get a straight scissor for this. Oh, yeah. yeah. These are a bit bent. Mm -hmm. It works great for going around here, I've noticed. Exactly, yeah. I love that. Okay, let's see if I got this right. That feels good. Mm -hmm. So I'm safe and I'll pinch these ends together. So now we are going to use the natural fiber. Yes. Okay, and I'm going to scoop. It's 
So what do you think about the fiber? It feels really good. Yeah. It doesn't really move, right? But it's No, it but it's movable. You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you don't have to stress with this. Right. Which is awesome. Especially if you're working with acrylics and you want to start working with gel. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is a great place to start mm -hmm. because it doesn't feel sticky and runny. Yeah. Like that's the biggest complaint for acrylic artists. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. And then you said I need to brush back on here a little bit yep. so we attach it. And really fade that out so you don't really get that um, like harsh line. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so we also make sure it's attached to the nail bed. Exactly. So you, yeah, exactly. That corner you need to. I'm really bad on that corner, especially when we're <laughs> filming because it's so hard to see. I know. You know the drill. Oh, yes. soften this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's it's still very self-leveling, even though it's a fiber gel. Got you. That's a new kit. So when you're doing extension like this, you might want to flash cure it a little bit. Yeah, because I can feel it mm -hmm. getting heat yep. a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's still thin, Yeah. but if you have really like thin nail beds, you're I still going to feel it. Yeah. yeah. I'm very sensitive in my, you my nails too. as well. Yeah. So yeah, I'm always going like that. Got you. Yeah. So now I'm going to use the one step. Yeah, I can see the nice uh, leveling factor mm -hmm. that it has. Okay. And how long of a nuke? 30 seconds. So this one, we need to fully cure. Okay, and mm -hmm. I can put this away? Yep. And now we're gonna file and shape it. I mean, you can feel that it's, it's pretty strong, yeah, even it's though good. it's thin. Yeah. This is a much more gentler file and just go over the whole thing. You gotta be careful because you could break it. This oh point. yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> I take the file and then right. and then it yeah. Because yeah. it's really very it's very, very thin. thin. So you need to be careful. Okay. So we're back to that same color and she's a copper catch. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to use the other brush now, mm -hmm. which is the gel polish brush. Place it and then you push it in front of the brush. Exactly. So now you have that little wall and then you just push that wall to where you want it to go. Because it'll stay. The wall exactly. won't move, right? Yeah. It's funny how these little languages that we develop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little wall, yeah. Little, little glitch, little, yeah. little titch. The blob. Yeah, the blob. I could probably nuke that now, mm -hmm. eh? Yep. Well, there's a word for you, nuke. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to forget that. No. <laughs> I have a friend, she has a thing for saying, pop it into the lamp. Right. She's Swedish. Yeah, but she, cute. Yeah. Pop it into the lamp. Not like me. No get. <laughs> no. <laughs> a little bit it's of like aggression. Canadian versus England. Yeah. Pop it into the lamp, dear. No get. <laughs> so classy. <laughs> Pop it. So we're gonna clean the brush once again. Yep. Because I like to clean the brush. So I'm gonna do a coat over the whole thing. Yeah. So that's the slip layer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The slip layer. Yeah. And that is you letting the gel know where you want it to go got you so wherever mm. i put this layer the yeah. next layer will follow exactly okay. so if you put it in the cuticles the gel it's is gonna, gonna go be, in the cuticle Ooh, let's yeah. go into the cuticles <laughs> <laughs> let's have fun over here it's, it's like ants they just <laughs> yeah. follow each other okay <laughs> exactly. got it okay so that's just a thin nice layer yeah yeah that's okay good. 
And now, okay, so here's the thing. Okay. When I say huge blob of gel, yeah, I don't truly, get away. Me- well, no, I truly mean a huge. You mean blob a huge blob? I mean a huge blob. Okay. Yeah. So don't go mousy on me right now okay. because you really need to. <laughs> Put, I mean, grab the gel okay. and take a huge blow. Okay, so okay. don't be a chicken. No, no, no. Don't be wimpy. Oh, you... Mm. Not big enough. No, that was like a half mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. You no, can yeah. control that blob. I don't know if I can. Well, let's just we'll find go out. right in. Okay, you can always drag it off. But it's... Okay. I mean, that's easier. Proper placement? Or is that Yeah, is that a too little close? bit further back. Further back. There you go. Okay. And that was actually a really, really, really huge blob. <laughs> that was in your instruction. <laughs> well, you you went from half mouse to like a moose in two seconds. I have no middle ground, my friend. <laughs> okay, now, yeah. So just help me out here. <laughs> Stop laughing. Is this how you teach? Yes. <laughs> this is how I do. <laughs> I want to go to your class. Yes, we have a lot of fun. <laughs> wow. Okay, gravity is working. <laughs> Either I don't with even me or know. don't even stop talking. I don't even know where to begin. Maybe you should start over so I can help you from the start. It actually it's not it's not bad. It's just that I've never had anybody laugh at my work so hard. <laughs> this friendship well, I'm is laughing, over. I'm laughing with you. That's the difference. That's right. Because you're laughing too. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, you're, you're I, getting I think there. I'm saving it. You're getting it. Hmm. We're getting there. You can fix this now by just uh, holding your hand upside down. Right. So this is your zen zone. Now yeah. you can take your time and breathe a little bit. <laughs> right. So mm. yeah, hum time. Okay. Here is where you're building the height. and The height this yeah, way. On. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and you're building that spine mm-hmm. of the nail. Right. And if it gets too pointy, yes. when you do like this, it's going to even itself out. Yeah. So you barely need to use your brush with this. Okay. So back okay. again. Now you can see that you have an apex, yeah. and then you just let it set a little bit, and then it's gonna be perfect. Okay, now you can nuke it. Now I can nuke it. Okay, and now one, two, three, take it out, out upside down. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, out. It looks really good. Does it? Yeah. We need to cleanse it. Okay. Yeah. Because we're going to shape it a little bit. Yep. And then we're going to do the last coat of the color, right? Yep. The last bun. Yeah, the the bun. (laughs) The top of the sandwich. (laughs) I just thought it was going to go through my color for a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to double check sometimes. Yeah. It gets so dusty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can't see it. Yep. And that's just a quick little buff, right? Yeah, just to get that last little, you yeah, know, smooth. Ding. Okay, so I'm just going to cleanse this, get all the dust. And you said mm-hmm. go right into the little corners. Yep. I remember that part. Good. Good student. <laughs> okay. So now you're Do I gonna... use the same method? Like yep. the little wall thing yep. and everything? Okay. Exactly. Absolutely. Okay. You do well, that all the time? It, we, we all do it differently. We all have our different, but yeah. I might steal some of those differences. Oh, you, you absolutely. If you like, get a bigger you wall. Yep. Bigger wall. Yep. I know what you mean with that because gel is very stubborn. Yeah, it, it pulls away. It does. Yeah, so that's why you need to get a lot in there. Yeah. And if it doesn't find its way in there, it, mm-hmm. it will not. It will not find its way if, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't push it. Exactly. And then, it, yeah, I I feel like it's setting into the nail. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you get that perfect line. Yeah. So, you know, I usually get that comment like, oh my God, you put so much gel on. And it's like, yeah, I do. But then I, I drag it off. Yeah. It appears that it's a lot of gel that's mm-hmm. going on, but it really is a placement issue. So it's a lot mm-hmm. at first and then you really do uh, work it. Exactly. Just like that giant blob. <laughs> we worked it. Exactly. We made it work. We or made you it made work. it work. Yeah. Yeah. Some fine coaching, I might add. <laughs> a lot of do, laughing. Do I get a, a certificate for yeah. you? From you, like <laughs> super coacher. <laughs> I think that's nukeable. Very nukeable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And you don't put this on any different than any other? No, I mean, just, just tip. I would say put it on thin, but really work it into the nail. Okay. Sometimes I even put one thin layer on and then I would go in and do another thin layer right, on top okay. of that without curing just to make sure that I really saturated the yeah, whole okay. nail. So massage it in there a little bit. Yeah. Just don't slap it on. Exactly. It's like cooking with love. And then you nuke it. And then I nuke it. <laughs> you take care of it, you love it, and then you nuke it. <laughs> you make nuking sound so vulgar. Okay, let's do it very elegantly. Nuke it. Nuke it, <laughs> nuke it darling. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can pretty much say anything with an English accent. Yes. It's going to look or sound posh yes. and elegant. Yes. Yeah. You look very vulgar today. <laughs> That, that sounded nice. It, it, did, didn't sound, it did. Didn't sound offensive. I, no, at all. I, I I felt like it was a very nice compliment. Yeah. Yeah. I took yeah. it as a compliment. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> if you under cure it or over cure the super shiny, it yep. could turn uh, out like you can get a dull surface. So. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay, you really right. you really want right. to cure it for okay. sixty seconds. Gotcha. Like, that's a good tip, actually, because we do have a big problem of undercuring and overcuring mm. with gel lights in the industry. So that's a really good tip. Okay. Now the oil. <gasps> yes. It's the finishing touch. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's do a reveal shot. Mm hmm. Well, I have to say, after 30 some years in the business, I still learned a lot with this new technique. I have to thank you. That was really cool. Yeah. Uh, you especially did the form. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. Thank you for walking me through my giant blob. <laughs> it's good to have a spotter. Blob. You're like a spotter. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it was it amazing. Was great. Well, it's a shame we live so far apart from each mm -hmm. other. I don't know how many miles it is, but it's a, at least 27 hours. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But I don't think this is the last of Selena no. on my videos. Next time you need to come to Sweden. Ooh, there's an invitation. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.